is this exhausting yet? Well, it sure is because I actually did a quick fix here. So you can see this little hexagon pattern thing there. So my son discovered a super fun game of tossing rocks into the furnace exhaust system. So this is the intake, that's the exhaust. And I found out very quickly that it is quite important that the intake and the exhaust are, they have sufficient flow. Uh, otherwise the system can't operate. As you can see, there is just snow everywhere here. It is minus 16 degrees Celsius, roughly 3.2 degrees Fahrenheit. So um, quickly I found out when the colder months came around that my furnace was not working. So thankfully I have experience with mechanical and electrical systems. So through a bit of testing, I know there was some basic things like testing a pressure switch. Those all came back good. And ultimately I'm like, you know what? I think it's the exhaust. So what I did is I actually cut this pipe off and I found there's a whole bunch of rocks jammed in there. And uh, so that really limited the flow. The furnace just stopped working. So after I cut that pipe off, cleaned out all the rocks, and as you know, hexagons are the best of gones. So I designed this little cover here. I went through a few iterations because I didn't want to restrict the airflow too much because again, the airflow and intake is very important of these systems, but this is working very well now. It's been, I think it's been, four or five months of this this weather here that i've been dealing with and it is working amazingly so come around to the spring now this will protect the system little rocks can still i guess get in there but most of the rocks that he put in were like that big so uh yeah i mean i, I told him about it <laughs> told him don't do that anymore and uh designed this little thing here so yeah i just thought it was a neat little fix because it really solved the problem and now my furnace is working again because i clearly need it.